Ness. Um, I'm 30 years old at the moment and I live in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. I'm a piano player and uh, that's why I'm here in Puerto Rico, Mayaguez. I studied music in the conservatory, not in Amsterdam, in a different town called Tilburg. I studied music for almost 10 years, I guess, uh, doing a bachelor's degree in piano and a master's degree. I studied composition as well. I studied jazz music or improvised music rather. So that's a little bit about myself. So there's this project called Play Me I'm Yours, um, which is, uh, it's an idea by a British artist. The idea is to put pianos in public spaces, like streets or uh, shopping malls or wherever, and they are for everyone to play at. Also, it's, it's been a dream, you know, when I, when I got here a week ago in Mayaguez, it was, it, it was in the evening, and uh, I got into a hotel, uh, I unpacked, uh, took a shower, and then went in the street, and I was like, ah, there's a piano, and tried it out, and then we walk around the corner, and there's another piano, and then around the other corner, there's another piano, so, yeah, yeah, it's, it's been beautiful, I can't say anything else. I came across this project in 2011 in, in the town where I, where I studied music. And then I heard that it's, a, it's, it's a more or less like a traveling art installation. So any city in the world can, can take the, the project to their city. So it's been all over the world, New York, um, London, all these major cities, but also in Brazil, I think. At the moment, it's in Santiago in Chile and it will be in Mexico City next. What I do is uh, I more or less follow, follow the project around the world. I'm in Puerto Rico right now. When I heard the project was coming to Mayaguez back in San Juan, I was like, okay, let's just go there. So here I am in Mayaguez. obsession because uh, not just an obsession um, like I have a compulsive nature <laughs> so I want to play all of the pianos for instance in Mayaguez I couldn't find two which frustrated me <laughs> but um, it's it's much more than that it's uh, well, to me a piano I, I call it piano pilgrim there are more people who follow the, the play me I'm yours around the world and they're called piano pilgrims. I consider myself really a pilgrim because I go with little money and I, I stay with people I don't know. Um, I ask them for some food or whatever, but also because a piano to me is a sacred. It's a bit cliche to say that, but it, it, it's true, like if I play and I get into the moment, then I have a religious experience. I, I can't say anything else. It's just, uh, it's just amazing. I've been to Malta as well, where I was watching the sunset in the Mediterranean Sea, well, that moment is not going to happen ever again. And here in Mayaguez I've had amazing moments playing the piano as well. And you meet people and uh, the nice thing about Play Me I'm Yours is that it really connects people. Because there are other people in, who are living in the city as well playing the piano and then people start listening and oh I didn't know you played the piano and uh, what do you 
inter interesting to to notice this or they start talking and they start talking about other things and make a real connection and because people are nowadays everybody is like this and you know so so it's beautiful in that way too people and and to me it's also I, I love to play with the, the ambient sounds like cars passing by and reacting to that has changed me? Um, well, I, that's a really difficult question. I don't know, I, I guess I get more and more to who I am. You know, I, I meet a lot of people, like people that I would never meet uh, otherwise. In that way, it has enriched my life. And personally, as a piano player, I, I try not to repeat myself, repeat myself which I do all the time. I try looking for new stuff and try to reinvent my piano playing, I guess. Why they put pianos and not uh, double basses or trumpets? I don't know, I don't know. I guess a piano, the artist came up with the idea of putting a piano in the laundromat where he was doing his laundry and people weren't talking. And then he was like, what if I just paint a piano and put it in there and see what happens? It's hard to take a piano. It's like you can, people will break it, like drunken people on a Saturday night. Yeah, well, this, this afternoon we, uh, we broke into uh, a children's playground and uh, like police were waiting outside for us. Luckily we had a good one, and like, uh, but that's a memorable experience. And uh, the sun setting, um, I watched the sunset here but also in Malta when I was playing and watching the Mediterranean, that was amazing. Yeah, like these two are that's my top two. What's next? I go back to Amsterdam in a week, but the project may be going to uh, Amsterdam as well, so... But I guess I'll have to wait for them to come to Amsterdam in August, and then, then I can run around the canals of Amsterdam like a fool <laughs> and play all these pianos. So it's, it's really interesting, all the people you meet. And what I like best is to like to search for like the soul of a country or a city. And now in Puerto Rico, I, I ask people like, what's it like to be Puerto Rican? What's important for you? How do you feel about being Puerto Rican? What defines Puerto Rican culture? And, and you hear all these different stories. So that's, that's really interesting. People get closer together. They, they connect. So if anyone is interested in playing pianos in the street, I can highly recommend it because it's, it's great. It's, uh, and just do it, just do it. Uh, quit your job, that's what I did the first time when I went on pilgrimage. Just leave everything behind and trust in God. Let's call it God, life, universe. Just go there uh, with an open heart and open mind and then things will come your way that you would, could never have ever have imagined. So just do it, just do it, go for it. Play the piano in the street. And if, if it's in your city, play them all. <laughs> Please, for me, if I can't be there, then play them all. So I know that they will be played.